Perhaps the most commonly stated facts for crocodilians is that they grow throughout their entire lives and that they're immortal. This information has also led some to state why a crocodile anywhere from 30 to 50 feet could be out there, like the claimed 50-foot Mahamba in the Congo. Although these statements are thrown around by a lot of people, just how true are these two pieces of information? To start off, we need to discuss their growth rates. Reptiles are stated by many to be indeterminate growers, which means they grow steadily throughout their entire lives. This differs from mammals who could be described as having determined growth. Think of yourself. When you're younger, you rapidly grow and get taller, but at some point it slows down and you get to your max height. You don't keep growing forever. When it comes to crocodilians, generally for at least the medium to large size species, they grow about a foot a year for the first few years of their lives, but then it slows down. Once that rapid growth period is over, the total length of a crocodilian grows by several inches a year. Generally, once the animal hits maturity, the growth rate rapidly slows down as it continues on in its life. However, at this point is where the question of continuous growth comes into play. Do crocodilians really grow forever, and could a 50-foot monster really exist today? First thing we need to address is if hypothetically a crocodilian did grow throughout its entire life, how long exactly is a crocodilian's entire lifespan? Several years ago, an article was released that stated crocodilians were essentially immortal and don't show signs of aging. They just get bigger and bigger until they're inevitably killed out by starvation, accidents, or disease. This is the reason we don't happen to see crocodiles the size of Boeing 747s in the wild. I want to make it very clear that this statement is wrong. It is very true that reptiles generally don't degrade and show signs of aging like mammals do. One example of this was Gomek, a saltwater crocodile caught from the wild in 1968 and died in captivity in 1997. The man who caught him, George Craig, said Gomek looked about the same when he died compared to when he was originally captured. While this lack of aging may not be apparent to a human eye, the animals do experience something referred to as negligible senescence, which is a very slow down aging process but still, nonetheless, an aging process the animal goes through. As they age, gators and crocs lose strength and overall body condition just like us humans. They tend to lose their teeth, some develop cataracts, and females produce fewer eggs. Even in the best captive facilities in the world with top tier veterinary staff, there will come a day when a crocodilian will simply pass away. As for just how old crocodilians can get to, that is up for debate. Henry, a now crocodile who lives in captivity, is said to be over 120 years old. Is it true? I honestly don't know, and I'd like to see more documentation that actually proves it, but I wouldn't say it's outside the realm of possibility. One study in 1997 on freshwater crocodiles which used growth rings on osteoderms as a determination of age did lead to some evidence for older ages in crocodilians. Tucker, 1997, was able to conclude that Crocodilus johnsoni reached 50 to 60 years of age, so some of the guesstimates of 100 plus years for the much larger species are very plausible. While there are several examples of crocodilians said to be over 100 years old in captivity, most of these are individuals that were put in captivity as adults, with no record of their actual age. As I stated in my book, for example, say if an 8 foot male American alligator is dropped off at a zoo. The keepers have no records of the animal's birth, but guess he's 10 years old. From that day onward, the alligator lived for 40 years till its death at the zoo. The animal's age would be guessed at 50 years, but it's just that, I guess. It seems that for the most verifiable or safe records, the oldest individuals top off as being in their 80s to 90s. While it's possible for crocodilians to be over 100 years old, there is absolutely no evidence to suggest they live forever. So if a crocodilian can get to over 100 years old, does that mean that a 100 year old animal will steadily get to at least 20 feet? or even those insanely monster sizes mentioned previously. The truth is, it's not that simple. To get back to their growth rates, we have to address just how much their growth actually slows down. For the giant crocodile Gomek, when he was caught in 1968, he measured 16 feet 6 inches, and when he died in 1997, he measured 17 feet 9 and a half inches. That means, on average, he grew half an inch a year. Then there's Cassius, the previous record holder for the longest crocodile in captivity. After his recent death, the Crocodile Specialist Group newsletter had this to say. Cassius measured 5.48 meters total length at time of death, but after taking into account the missing part of the tip of his snout and part of his tail, he is estimated to have been 5.8 meters total length. Over the 40 years since his capture, he had grown around 0.3 meters. 
For additional context too, Cassius was believed to be over 100 years old, but he was another case of an adult crocodile caught from the wild and put in captivity, so his precise age is unknown. Still, the above cases do indicate that older crocodiles have very slow growth in the later years of their life. In addition to this, there is evidence that some crocodilians could have determinate growth. To name a few examples, a 12-foot saltwater crocodile in one study was measured over three years and showed no change in its total length. An 11-foot American alligator in another study showed no change in its snout vent length for a period of seven years till its death. And in another study, it showed that yak gray caiman seemed to demonstrate determinate growth. To summarize all of what I've said in this video, crocodiles can get old but don't live forever, and their growth slows down extremely or ceases altogether. So how does a crocodile cross the 20 foot mark then? Well, it has to do with several factors. The first thing a crocodile has to have is the genetics to be of that size. It already has to be predisposed to attain an extraordinary length. Second, it has to live in a warm environment. As crocodilians are ectothermic, meaning their metabolism is determined by the external environment they live in, a warm home is going to go a long way to increase their chance of being big. Third, it has to live in an environment with plenty of food. It goes without saying that if you want to be big, you're going to need to have the nutrients to sustain that growth. Fourth and finally, it's nice to live in an area with little threats or competition. If food is readily available without worry of another crocodile trying to eat the same prey, and there's no to little stress in terms of predators trying to kill you when you're young, that's very much going to be an advantage. Lolong, a confirmed 20 footer, was actually said to have lived in an area with a low density of crocodiles aiding in this being a factor for him being so big. A lot of people think that a bigger crocodile has to be an older one, but with everything I've stated, it's likely that the vast majority of these giants on record were just animals that were able to grow a lot when they were younger. So is it possible a crocodile could rapidly grow big enough when it's young to get 30 to 50 feet in length by the end of its life? I would say it's not likely. The maximum size of crocodilians is something that's being looked into, and something I'm actively researching but I don't think it's possible for a crocodile the size of Sarcosuchus or Perusaurus to be alive anymore, especially one that's bigger than these species. In my opinion, the current evidence does not suggest a 50-foot crocodile could exist simply by living to an extremely old age. But let me know in the comments if you think something as big as the 50-foot Mahamba could be out there today. So many of you know about the current study I am working on about 20-foot plus crocodilians. Heck, the topic is pretty much the main thing I'm known for on here, but I need your help. I am finding some really interesting information pertaining to certain head measurements for at least a saltwater crocodile. However, I am currently working with a small sample size. What I am looking for are detailed measurements from skulls or heads of saltwater crocodiles that came from animals at least 10 feet or 3 meters long. I will have my email and Instagram in the description, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you all for watching. To learn more about the animals you just saw, buy the second edition of What We Get Wrong About Crocodilians. It examines claims of giant crocodiles, a World War II massacre, regenerating tails, alligators in the sewers, their record land speeds, and more. The book examines claims many, including experts, get wrong about these animals, and the second edition includes updated information, pictures, and more. Buy What We Get Wrong About Crocodilians, the second edition, in physical or digital formats. Link in bio, comments, or description to buy.